Okay, so in this video I'm going to be looking at the addition rule of probability. Uh, we can see the addition rule here. Uh, the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. Now that looks very, very complicated, so we're going to have to break it down a little bit. Uh, we're going to use some Venn diagrams to show that. Uh, so here's our Venn diagram. Okay, that's our universal set. Here's set A and here's set B. Okay, set A, set B. Now, the probability of A, that's this thing here, that's just our big circle here, our A circle. Now, remember that the probability of A includes everything in here, but also in here as well, because all of that is included in A. So there's our probability of A. Get rid of that. Now we've got our probability of B. Now that, remember, is going to be everything in that circle, which again includes all of that stuff in there. Now we just need to think of, uh, we just need to have a bit of a reminder about this piece of notation and this piece of notation. I might even draw us a, a second Venn diagram. Okay, here's our second Venn diagram, A, B. Okay, so let's find what this formula is actually finding for us. It's saying that the probability of A union B. Okay, so A union B. Now remember that union means or. Uh, union, so that's the word union, U-N-I-O-N. And union means A or B. Now, what that refers to is the two circles in their entirety, all of A and all of B. Now, the other thing in this formula that you might not remember is this piece here, A intersection B. And let's just draw A intersection B. Now, remember that A intersection B, that's intersection. And the easiest way to think about intersection is and. And it's this section in here. Now hopefully uh, you can see what's happening in this formula. I'll break it down for you with the third Venn diagram. Now this formula is designed to find all of this blue area in here. Because that's A union B. And what it's saying is you can find A union B, all of that blue stuff, by doing the probability of A, so that's all of our A, which I'll do in purple here, adding it to the probability of B, which I'll do in orange, And hopefully you can see what the problem is and why we do this minus probability of A intersection B. We need the minus in there because what's actually happened is when we counted these bits, we counted the middle section twice. So we need to subtract one of those because we counted it when we counted the A's and we counted it when we counted the B's. Uh, so we need to subtract that one. So that's where this entire formula comes from. Uh, let's have a go at a question so you can actually see what, uh, how this all works in actuality. Okay, so here's our question here that we're going to run through. Uh, now you can see that we have our Venn diagram here, our universal set. Uh, there's a group of 20 students that we've surveyed. Uh, now six of them are in here, two of them are in here, seven of them are in here, and five of them don't, don't have anything at all. So we've got one set which is wears glasses, and that's going to be 6 plus 2, this section here. We're going to have uh, cereal for breakfast, so people who eat cereal for breakfast. There's this circle here, which is 7 plus 2. And then there's people who do both, they wear glasses and they have cereal for breakfast. And there's five people out here who do neither of those things. Now we're going to try to find the probability that someone wears glasses or uh, eats cereal for breakfast, wears glasses, or eats cereal. 
So that's going to be equal to the probability that they wear glasses plus the probability that they eat cereal minus the probability that they um, wear glasses and, uh, that's intersection, eat cereal. Now remember we need to deal in probabilities here. So the probability that they wear glasses is in this circle here. So it's 8 out of however many kids were surveyed. And there were 20 kids surveyed. So the probability of wearing glasses is 8 in 20. Now the probability of eating cereal, this circle here, 2 plus 7 is 9 divided by 20. Okay, now the problem is that we did the wears glasses bit and we did the cereal bit, which means that we've counted the two twice. So now we need to subtract the probability that they wear glasses and eat cereal. And the probability of that happening is this section in here. That's 2 out of 20. Now you can do all this on your calculator. Out of 8 in 20 plus 9 in 20 minus 2 in 20, that's going to be 15 in 20. Um, which breaks down into 3 and 4. So all of this means that if you choose a student from this class at random, there's a 3 in 4 chance that they will wear glasses, 3 and 4, wear glasses, or eat cereal. Okay, now just briefly... Um, I'm just going to show you one more quick example uh, that doesn't really utilize the Venn diagram. I'll show you what I mean in a sec. Okay, so here's a quick question that we can go through without our Venn diagram. Uh, the probability that someone likes cricket is 0 0.7. The probability that they like football is 0 0.8. The probability that they like both is 0 0.4. And the probability that they like either so either they like cricket or football, we don't care, as long as they like a sport, we don't know that, and that's what we'd like to know. So if we use capital C and capital F as our sets, we can say that the probability of uh, C union F is equal to the probability of C plus the probability of F minus the probability of C intersection. And we can uh, put this all together, 0 0.7 plus 0 0.8 uh, minus 0 0.4. I might have stuffed this up a little bit. Better change that. Okay. Uh, you can think about why that doesn't work. Uh, change that to 0 0.5. Oh, let's change it to 0 0.6. Okay. So the probability of 0 0.7 plus 0 0.8 minus 0 0.6, uh, that's going to be 0 0.5 minus 0 0.6, that's going to be 0 0.9. So if they like cricket, they like football, they like both, they like either, the probability that they like either is 0 0.9. And we can show all that on a Venn diagram uh, fairly easily. Uh, the like cricket is here, the like football is here, liking both is there, and liking either is that bit there. Okay, so this was the addition rule of probability. What you need is this formula here and to understand what a union and an intersection is and how to find those. And after this, it's really about you guys practicing, practicing, practicing and see how you go with it. All right, thanks guys.